Hey guys, welcome back to another video where, hold on, I'm forgetting something. Greg, much better. Uh, with that out of the way, welcome to another episode of Update Day. Woo! Uh, everybody's favorite show on the internet. Today we got the 13.30 update, and uh, yeah, we didn't skip point one this time. Let's see what's new. So, unlike all the other update videos, this update we got some very important bug fixes. That I'm gonna go over a few of them. Uh, a few probably more important than others. Um, first of all, probably the most important update or bug fix, the glitch where it like prevented you from gliding around the authority, grappling, whatever, around the authority uh, is fixed. So now you can properly glide around the authority. They fixed the bug where um, replay files would not save on PlayStation 4 and uh, they fixed this glitch where you could not pick up Ocean's Chug Jug after dropping it for another player. So let's get to the most important part of the update that wasn't part of the update. Cars! Where are they? We want them! So the main point of this update that everybody was excited for, cars, uh, did not did not show. Um, my speculation is that they're com gonna come on the 23rd when the water level goes down once again. And uh, along with this update, all of the cars, trucks, and semis got completely wiped off the map, leaving, I think, just only like a few cars, making metal really, really hard to get. Let's talk about a big map change that came in this update, also relating to cars. Uh, gas stations. A few gas stations got changed. The one at Salty got a big, long uh, expansion to it. And the one at Lazy also got a pretty big uh, expansion to it. I think that one is two stories now. And, uh... I think the pumps changed to them as well. They look different than the uh, pumps that were in it yesterday, before the update. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong, because I'm always right here on the Epic Man 94 channel. Subscribe. And a few other gas stations got added as well. Uh, mainly the one near the Blue Bridge over by, um, pretty sure, Pleasant. In other news, we got more LTMs. Uh, by more LTMs, I mean returning ones, because why add new ones when we can just have solid gold 10 times over? So the lineup for this week for the LTMs is like Catch right now. Blitz got taken out of the game early to be replaced with Catch, a far worse LTM. I'm just saying both of them are bad. I just don't like Catch. And then next we got One Shot, another LTM I'm not a fan of, I don't like any of these snipers only LTMs. And then this new LTM called Payback. So the description for the Payback LTM, a uh, little bit confusing, uh, I get it, but um... The Payback LTM requires players to eliminate players that are marked, and if these players are eliminated, it counts as two eliminations. So, um, if you've ever played Assassin on Roblox, that's kind of what this game is like. It's going to mark a team of players, and you'll have to eliminate those players. And another LTM, another fan favorite LTM, has been added back to the files, a little bit fixed. Uh, Air Royale, uh, I was not expecting this one to return ever, uh, but some, some of the, uh, strings got fixed for this 
and uh, it is fair to say that it might be making a return soon. Also, Solid Gold uh, is supposed to return this week. I don't think anybody cares about that. Segwaying back to the uh, map changes portion of the video, uh, there was this new weird spaceship looking thing that's found in the ocean near, uh, I don't remember, but right now it is underwater and uh, I'm guessing there's, uh, this thing is related to the storyline in some way. Uh, there's a character inside of here with a lot of detail and uh, this thing looks like it's in some way related to Siona. Not sure. Now, for the part we've all been waiting for. Maybe just me? I don't know. I've been waiting for this part all along. Leaked skins and emotes. Woo! This is my favorite part of update day videos. Because I get to look at leaked skins, which I could purchase. And leaked emotes, which I could purchase. And other cosmetics. For our leaked skins this update, we have the Samsung Galaxy uh, tournament skin. Didn't even mention that there's a Samsung Galaxy tournament. If you have uh, Galaxy phones uh, that can play Fortnite, then you can participate by uh, probably signing up somewhere. I don't know. But the, the skin for this is a female Galaxy skin called Galaxy Scout. Uh, I was a little bit shaky on this skin at first, not gonna lie. But uh, now that I'm seeing it in a different light, it looks okay. We also got uh, Tropical Punch Zoe. We haven't seen Zoe for a while. Uh, we got Summer Fable. We got my favorite skin of this bunch. Unpeely, which is like a peeled peely, if that makes sense. Now moving on to like probably the three laziest skins I've ever seen. Party Star, Party Diva, Party MVP. These are I'm gonna pay $15 for a reskin of a skin that already exists with a different model on it uh, with no backbling. $15 for that. We got Dummy, which is a crash test dummy. There's nothing else to say about it except it's a crash test dummy. We got Shore Leave, which is a. Um, it's kind of a summer reskin of Verge, which uh, my friend Subfire is happy about. Uh, we got the Barracuda skin and the Wave Ripper skin. Uh, they go, they kind of coincide as a, uh, I'm assuming, couple. I don't know. We got Sand Shark Driver and Sizzle, which is a female counterpart to Beef Boss. Before we get to the emotes, I guess I should mention that there are also three, no, four packs that got added this update. Uh, not all of them being skin packs, actually. Uh, a majority of them, or two of them, not consisting of a skin at all. First and foremost, we have the Summer Legends pack, which consists of previously mentioned skins such as Unpeely, Tropical Punch Zoe, and Summer Fable. Next up, we have the um, Galaxy pack, which is all the Galaxy cosmetics, not including the wrap, put into one bundle so you can buy it all in one at the cost of less. Next up, we got the, um, I'm gonna just call it the Food Cosmetics uh, bundle. We got the Two Scoops Harvesting Tools, the Caperoni back bling, which is just like, uh, a pizza but it's a back bling and we got the vanilla whip back bling with two edit styles a white one and a pinkish reddish one um, assuming this goes with a uh, little whip now for my favorite pack out of all of these is the fortnite classics pack no skins in this pack at all just back blings and a pickaxe but they look they they're so nostalgic that i just I like them that much. This pack consists of the chair back bling, which is like the classic um, chair from the chair house back in uh, the Pueblo Pueblo Village in uh, Chapter One in the desert area. The Rocky back bling, which is the Moai heads from Season Five, are 
those big stone heads if you don't know what a moai head is. The tube top back bling, which is a, the TV from the rocket event that had the uh, error, not error, but like warning screen with the bouncing llama on it. And we got the Nomax, which is basically just a stick with a gnome attached to it. Um, I'm assuming that's also a reference from this uh, little hut that got added in uh, Season X with just a bunch of gnomes in it that had absolutely not a single bit of context. All right, editing and Man 94 here. During the shop's reset at eight o'clock, as it usually does, this set actually came out and uh, I just want to say I'm gonna definitely buy it. Code Subfire. For the emotes of this update, we got the Belaic emote, which is like a new and improved version of the Pirouette emote from Season 1, Chapter 2. The Buckle Up emote, which is kind of hard to describe, it's just, it just kind of looks like you're driving a car. And oh my gosh, this was, this has probably been my favorite emote by far. Uh, the Out West emote, this one came completely out of left field. Right here, right here, this is left field. And uh, this emote went completely out of left field. I did not see this coming. The Out West emote is a TikTok dance as well, like the Renegade. But the song for this one is Out West by Jack Boys and Travis Scott. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs by Travis Scott as well. Um, yeah, let's look at all of these cosmetics.
be all for today's video guys um hit that subscribe button down there uh i can't reach it so you're gonna have to and if you want to be an extra cool boy you can hit that notification bell as well um yeah i'll see you giblets in the next video and bye